In this tutorial, we will make some kind of armor to protect our girl here. It is common knowledge that the enemies only target the shiny part. And the shinier they are, the more protection they provide. So we will make an armor so shiny that it provides absolute protection and protect our girl from all kinds of projectiles. After looking at some armor references, I have come to conclusion that a scale armor is the best choice. It's lighter than blade, it's flexible and it looks great. Similar to the fabric texture, I will not try to explain the logic behind the math notes. But if you follow the video step by step, you can recreate the texture by yourself. If you want to understand the technical stuff, I suggest that you watch my other video called Note Insanity Made Sane for some essential knowledge. I'll put the link in the description. If you're new to the note editor and did not watch that video, then the content of this video is no different than witchcraft. But it's okay, you don't need to understand it in order to follow along. At the end of the tutorial, you will have a nice scale material to put in your library. In this video, I will show you how to make this note. It gives us three different sets of data. They kinda look like scale, but not really. And the next video will be about creating the rest of the network to utilize the data coming out of this node and generate a nice scale texture. Okay, let's begin. This is part one, computing the scale data. Create a UV node. Create a mix RGB node and create a value node. Connect the UV and the value to the mix. Increase the factor to 1 and change the mode to multiply. This will multiply each channel of the UV with the value here. Now create a separate XYZ node. Connect the mix to the vector input. Create a math node, change the operation to floor and connect the x value to the math. The floor math ignore the second input of the socket, so the value of the second socket does not matter. Duplicate this math node and change the operation to add. Leave the second value as 0 0.5. Duplicate any of the math node, change the operation to round and put the y value in it. Similar to the floor node, this node ignore the second socket, so the value here does not matter. Create a combine XYZ node, place it here and connect the add to the X socket. And connect the round to the Y socket, like so. Label this node point A result. And create a frame under the layout menu. Label this frame point A calculation. Select these nodes and put them in the frame like so. Now if you accidentally place a node inside the frame like so, you can take it out using the hotkey Alt P. Alright. Duplicate this entire frame and place it down here. Flip the node's position like so and connect the X value to the round node and the Y value to the floor node. Swap the socket of the combined XYZ node. Now label it point B result. And label the frame point B calculation. Alright, create another math node and change the operation to less than and connect the round Y value to the first socket and connect the original Y value to the second socket. Create a mix RGB node, connect the result of this less than node to the factor of the mix node and connect point B to the color 1 socket and point A to color 2 socket of the mix node. Next, Control shift d to duplicate this node while keeping all the connections Place it below the first mix node. Now swap the inputs. 
Create a reroute point under the layout menu and place it here. Connect the multiply node to it. Shift D to duplicate it and place it here. Connect the two point. Now we can bring this point all the way here. This allows us to keep the wires clean and tidy. Alright, now we can create a mixed RGB node. Set the blend mode to subtract and the factor to 1. Connect the reroute point to color 1. This point carry the same data as the multiply node here. So this is the same as connecting the multiply node directly to the subtract node. Okay. Now connect this mix node to color 2. Control shift D to duplicate this subtract node and connect the other mix node. Now in order to move on with our job, we need to create a utility node group that calculates the distance between two points. So create a separate XYZ node and place it here. Control G to group it. Now we are in a node group with just one node. Hold down Control and left click and drag to cut these wires. Duplicate it and connect the second separate XYZ node to the hollow socket of the input. This will create another input socket for us. Now is a good time to rename our inputs and outputs. This one is point 0.1 and this one is point 0.2. And this output is distance. Get rid of the other two outputs. Now create a math node, change the operation to subtract. Duplicate it down here, like so. Connect the two x value to the first subtract node and connect the two y value to the second subtract node. Duplicate this math node and change the operation to power. Set the second value to 2 and connect the subtract node to the first socket. Duplicate the power math node, connect the second subtract node to the first socket. Duplicate this math node and change the operation to add and connect the two power nodes. Duplicate this node and change the operation to square root. Connect the add node to the first socket. This square root node ignores the second socket, so the value here does not matter. And finally, connect the square root to the output. This is how you calculate the distance between two points in 2D space. Remember this node because we will reuse it a lot in the future tutorials, as well as upgrade it to 3D. Okay. Now click this button or hit tab to go out of the node group and rename this group to Calculate Distance. Connect this mix node to the Calculate Distance node and connect the reroute point as well. The order of the input does not matter, so you can swap the inputs if you like. Duplicate the Calculate Distance node, place it down here and again connect the reroute point and connect the other mix node. Now duplicate this less than node and place it here. Connect the second distance node output to the first socket. Leave the second socket as 0 0.5. Now create a mixed RGB node. Connect the value output of the less than node here to the factor of the mixed RGB and control shift D to duplicate this two times. For the first mix node Connect the two subtract nodes to the two color inputs. Now this will be the UV of the individual scale with both X and Y are zero at the center. Now we will flip the Y axis of this UV so positive Y will be below and negative Y will be on top. Create a combined XYZ node. Set x and z value to 1 and minus 1 for the y value. Duplicate this node and change the mode to multiply and increase the factor to 1. Connect the mix to color 1 and the vector to color 2. As you can see, it flipped the y axis. 
Now we want the center of the UV to be at the top of the circle. So duplicate this multiply node and change the operation to add. Connect the multiply to color 1 and for color 2 set R and B to 0 and set G to 0 0.5. This node moved the UV to the top of the circle. Alright, that is the UV of each scale. For the second mix node, connect the two distance nodes to the color socket. Now this is the distance between the pixel and the center of the scale. However, the maximum value is 0 0.5, which is not very useful to us. So we need the max value to be 1 instead. So copy the math node over here and change the math to multiply. Connect the mix to the multiply and change the second value to 2. Alright, now the value at the edge of the scale is 1. And for the third mix node, connect these two mix nodes to the color input. If we visualize it, we get something like this. This is the coordinate of the center of the scales. Now we have three sets of data. The first one is the UV of the scale. The second is the distance of the pixel to the center of the scale. And the third set is the position of the scale center point. So, to end today's video, we will group this entire network into a single node. So, go all the way to the left and hold down shift, right click and drag over these two wires. Like so. Now select the two point as well as everything to the right. Leave the material output and the viewer node. Now control G to group them. The input may be flipped like this, so just go to the node tab up here and change the order of the inputs. Rename this one to vector and this one to scale. Right now we only have one output, so we're going to create some output ourselves. Create a combine XYZ node and connect the vector output to the group output node, like this. And this will create a vector output for us. Now we can select this vector output and click this plus icon down here to duplicate it. Now we can get rid of the combine XYZ node as well as the other output socket. To create a grayscale output socket, we create a math node and connect it to the output node. Now we have a nice grayscale output. Rename this one to UV, this one to center, and this one to factor. And finally, connect the UV data to the UV output, the distance to the factor output, and the center data to the center output. Tap to go out of the node group and rename this one to scale calculation. Alright, this is what we have so far. We have three sets of data and we can change this value to make the scale bigger or smaller. Alright, that's it for this video. In the next one, I will show you how to use these three sets of data to make a shiny scale armor in order to protect our girl from deadly projectiles as well as close range weapons.